first thing I do every time I start up Maya and a new project is I create a new projects folder. Uh, this way it keeps everything organized in one single place. And the way you do that is you go to File, Projects, New. Here you define, you set a name to your project and it saves under the Maya Projects directory. For this particular one I am going to name it Champagne Bar and I'm going to use the defaults for all the rest of the folders. Click Accept and we are ready and set for with a new projects folder. For this particular project we need to set our um, dimensions inside the Maya to uh, feet. We'll, we'll make it easier for us to model and the way you do that is you go to Window, Setting Preferences and you click on Preferences. Under the Settings tab click on Settings and here you have uh, Linear and right now it's defined by centimeters. You want to scroll down and you want to choose uh, foot or inches or meters, whichever one you are comfortable working with. I am going to choose uh, foot. Click save and now the grid resembles that. It is a good idea to also set up a custom shelf for your uh, modeling project. So I'm, I'm, uh, let's set up a, a custom shelf right now and I'm not going to make that shelf, uh, I'm not going to populate it with all these icons like you see here. Uh, I'm just going to, uh, as I model, I'll just keep adding, but I'll show you how to how to do that uh, right off the bat. So, um, we're going to create one of these uh, new little tabs for our particular project that we're working on. And the way you do that is you click over here on the little upside down triangle, hold it down, and we want to create a new shelf. Uh, so here we want to create a uh, create new shelf. So I'm just gonna call it modeling. Click OK. Now we have a completely new shelf, and we can start adding items to it. Um, see if we can switch over over the uh, any other shelf that we have available. You can also get rid of most of these uh, if you need to. So the way you add icons to it, it's ex actually extremely easy. If you hold down Control Shift Alt and you hold them down and you come over uh, on top of these buttons and you let's say we want to uh, put create polygon cube on here so you keep uh, con uh, you keep control alt and shift down and then you select cube and it puts it on there and every time you want to put a new icon on here you press those three buttons again and you come over and you select which uh, operation you want let's say about extract so now we have a new one uh, now if you want to get rid of any of them just middle mouse click hold and drag over and I don't have a little trash can which uh, I usually do I just got rid of it but the way you do that is uh, if I expand my Maya um, which I, I can't right now because I'm recording but there's a little trash can on the side so you just drag over it and uh, drag and drop it so let's uh, start with our initial blocking of our uh, champagne room. And I always have reference. Um, I always model with something to look at. I don't try to make up anything from my mind. So we're going to be looking at this a lot. And I'm also going to put a couple uh, more items on my shelf. and. Um, you might want to you might want to do the same. The first one is going to be uh, delete history. I uh, edit delete by type history, and another one I want to put is it's under display polygon custom polygon display. So um, and then the rest of them I'm going to put as we go. So let's start. I want to create a, a human scale for our environment. So I'm going to create a cube. Drag it up a little bit, and here you can change the settings to it. So I'm going to give it a height of six. Since we changed it to feet, he's going to be six feet in height. So that's our uh, that's our human character. That's going to be uh, our reference of scale to the environment. And now I want to well, let me turn the shading on. Shading wireframe unshaded. Just it's easier to see, and I like how it looks. And let's create our dimensions of the room. Now uh, I couldn't find any 
dimensions of the actual champagne room and yes I'm gonna keep saying champagne room from here on out and so I just kinda I guessed I, I did my best guess by taking this little guy and just kinda seeing if I would lay him across <laughs> and how many of him would fit across this wall and uh, up the ceiling up the wall so I just kinda I, I guesstimated and we'll be able to change it as we go along and so what I came out to is uh, let me let me show you um, the height is 24 feet let me drag this up then um, the depth is 72 feet and the width is uh, 60 feet so that's our initial blocking of the environment and I mean uh, from from right now just just judging it by eye it, it looks it looks okay it looks pretty close and but if you have specific dimensions I mean that's what you want to use but uh, for the sake of this tutorial and for that for this uh, environment you know I just kinda I guess made it let me turn the grid off show grid alright alright next thing you wanna do is we want to reverse the normals of this box so we can not see the box outside but see the inside so the way you do that is select the box custom polygon display and we want to uh, turn the normals on and we want to turn the back face column on apply and close so now it shows you the normals which way they're turned now when we go inside our box it disappears and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our faces and we're gonna reverse the normals so we don't so we don't see the uh, out exterior walls but we see interior walls so let's do that now you select the face, go to normals, and reverse. And you want to repeat that for every face. And the easier way to do this is select the face, press G to repeat the last function. G, G, and to switch things up, normals, reverse. So now you can tell that we are able to model and do our stuff from out here and then if we go inside we're inside our room alright and let's turn our normals off because it can be very distracting okay so now we save control save uh, it's automatically since we set up a new project folder it automatically goes to scene so I'm gonna save it as jump Panya bar 001 and one more thing that I want to point out to is when you save uh, make sure you have file of type set to MA and the way you do that is you go to options and in the drop down menu you want to uh, choose my ASCII uh, not binary uh, the reason you want to do ASCII is because if you work in between different versions of Maya or different Maya uh, files you from work and home and uh, ASCII is you're able to uh, edit the ASCII file in the notepad and it's compatible with the previous versions and the future versions of Maya while uh, binary is not and I haven't had much luck with binary so I've always worked with ASCII so you always you want to choose that and you want to save scene and uh, looks like I have to do that again Champagne bar 001 save alright and we have the initial uh, environment blocked off so next thing I want to do is delete history and name name our object and this is going to be named you guessed it champagne bar alright then what I want to do is I want to extract each individual wall from the cube so each wall will be its separate piece of geometry same for the ceiling and the floor so let's do face select the face that you want to extract 
go to mesh extract and now after you extract it go to object view now we have two different pieces of geometry one two now uh, another thing you want to do is once you extract select that piece of geometry and center pivot so that way if for whatever reason this wall moves you're able to uh, select this and put it back where it's supposed to be and let's repeat that for everything else um, let's see if this is gonna work if I select all four extract object mode nope it didn't work I gotta do it one by one so let's do this and then we go into mesh extract same thing G select again G select again and G alright now I should have four different yep alright now you want to delete history on each single one of these guys and what I'm doing is I'm just selecting a piece of geometry I pressed history before but uh, every new action I just press G to repeat the last function and now at this point I thought I turned that on. It looks like I'm going to have to select all of them and reapply back face calling. Here we go. Awesome. And now I want to modify center pivot on all of them. Modify center pivot. Well, let me put it on the shelf. Here we go. and G and one more G alright now we have it selected and uh, I'm, I'm a stickle for naming things so I don't lose track of things so I'm gonna name them really quick ceiling floor and walls Alright, now we have our block to an initial environment. And do a quick control S to save. And now we can start going in and actually modeling uh, our walls and the trims and the floor and the ceiling. So it's looking good. Alright, let's get back into it. One more thing I want to show you is putting things on layers so we're uh, we have easy access to turn them on off and on and remember he'll be watching us so let's put our uh, Christopher Walken on a layer okay so here's what you do um, clicking on this little tab will create a new layer and uh, the way you do it is if you double click on the highlighted layer you can rename it I'm gonna name this layer Champagne save and then what you do is you select what you want to put in the layer right click at selected object and then you can turn it off let's do the second one on this one I want to put walls save so let's select our walls right click add selected objects and create two more one is going to be for floor and this one is going to be ceiling Add selected object and let's select the ceiling and do the same for this and uh, let's do one more for our scale save add selected object and what I like to do for the scale is I turn on either uh, the template or I just reference it and you won't be able to select it 
and you can do that with the rest of the layers which is great because when you're working on one thing you want you don't want to be selecting something else all right next step would be uh, start modeling, modeling the walls and windows and just working from uh, outside in 